Good evening, it's Ryan here, 780 Speed and Custom. I apologize for the uh, lack of content lately, just been a little busy, but uh, Biscayne is actually in my garage at home here, and I've had every intention of working on it, but before I get to do that, I'm actually going to have to take it back out and pull my daily in. Um, on my way to work this morning, check engine light comes on in my truck, Oil pressure slowly, slowly drops to nothing. So, obviously, shut it off. Check the oil. Oil's good. Fired it up again. Maybe 15 pounds. And then before I could make it a block, back down to nothing again. So, I've got some definite issues going on there. Um, I'm going to put an actual pressure gauge to it. Make sure that it is see if it actually is making oil pressure maybe it's just a sensor or something along those lines um, hopefully it's something that simple but I have a feeling with my luck it's gonna be more serious and I'm gonna be tearing apart two engines this winter so I guess uh, plan, for, plan for now is to put this pull this thing out I'm just gonna push it out leave it in the driveway and uh, pull my daily in so I can get looking into what's going on there so that's what I'm going to be dealing with for the foreseeable future. So before I get too crazy on this thing, I'm going to do a little bit more diagnosis. I've got an oil filter here, so I want to cut the one that's on the engine apart right now and uh, just verify that, you know, see, well, see if there's any copper in it or what that looks like. Um, that'll tell me if I'm eating a bearing or not. I've got a pressure gauge here that actually bolts up to where the... Uh, oil cooler goes or if, if it's just a bypass um, so I can verify the actual engine pressure versus what's happening on the gauge make sure those things are corresponding because who knows it might be just like a plugged passage to the oil sensor or something I did put a sensor on it not too long ago so it's entirely possible um, that that's blocked I can't honestly remember if I changed the screen or not so it could be something as simple as that hopefully it is but before I get too crazy and swap vehicles around, I just want to do a little bit more diagnosing to make sure I'm not wasting my time here and, you know, who knows. It could be something simple. Hopefully it's something simple, but I'm still leaning towards worst possible case scenario. So, let's get to it. So, when I fire it up, it makes all the oil pressures. But you'll see that'll start to drop and it'll slowly drop to nothing once this thing gets up to temperature. Um, yeah, so it's already started to come down. So, I've got some sea foam in it right now. Um, I've had a few guys tell me this has happened to them. And uh, they've sea foamed it, changed the oil, and everything seems working again. Um, I'm gonna take it one step further, and I'm going to drop the oil and I'm gonna put diesel fuel in it. Because um, I mean, if this thing's wrecked, it's the damage is done anyway already. So <laughs> diesel fuel for oil, and uh, that should really clean things out. I'll just run it for a couple of minutes like that, drop it again, and then I'll put uh, fresh oil, fresh filter on it. And then I'll cut that filter apart and just see where we're, see where we're at. But hopefully it's just sludge in the motor and I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna have to rebuild this thing, but. We'll find out here soon. So it's running somewhat smoothly. There is a bit of a, I don't know, it sounds more like a knock than a tick, but this is an AFM motor and I haven't deleted that yet. Um, so it could be bad lifters, but I don't know. It is starting to sound a bit like a diesel. And so I'm gonna put diesel fuel in it. Temp slowly climbing. Oil's slowly dropping. So we're just about at uh, temperature here. And uh, just about at no pressure. So obviously the sea foam isn't doing much. Time to get drastic. Uh. 
definitely do for a little change, that's for sure. Okay, so I've dropped the oil now. Um, my next step is going to be to put uh, diesel in the engine. Hopefully that will kind of varnish out any kind of uh, sludge that might be in there. Uh, just run it for a couple of minutes, then I'll drop that out and new oil, new filter, then I'll be able to cut the old filter apart and see what it looks like. So I put six liters of uh, diesel in here and I'm just going to drop that into the crankcase. Pretty sure I saw Cletus McFarlane do this. It must be legitimate. This is where you put the gas in, isn't it? So that's the crankcase filled with diesel fuel. Cap back on. Let's check the level quick. Got the rag. see what that does. I have to excuse how dirty my dash is. So with the diesel fuel in it, let's see if it makes oil pressure. That's unreal. It does. Probably not going to stay there very long because it's still warm. Oh yeah, she's dropping quick now. Yikes. Well, I'll let that run for a minute and uh, See what happens. Well, I've run that as long as I dared, so I'll drop the diesel out of it now, change the filter, put in new oil, and then we'll cut that old filter apart and see how bad it looks inside. All right, drop the uh, diesel fuel out now. Not sure that's gonna do much of anything, but oh, hope if I hit. The <laughs> oh, what a mess! I should have known that was going to come up quick. So it's an interesting development. Uh, basically at temperature and there's oil pressure. That's about as much as it ever made. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. So obviously must have had some sludge or something, possibly. I don't know. I'll let it idle here for a little bit longer, see if that goes down. And uh, see what happens. I don't know. Maybe drive it tomorrow to work. See if it comes back or not. I don't want to say it's fixed. But it is making oil pressure. Okay, so I got the old filter. Just cut that apart. Let's see what it tells me.
Man, there's nothing. Maybe a little bit of... Uh, metal, but no copper. There's no copper whatsoever. A little bit of crap in there, but that's not, there's no bearing material, so I don't know. Uh, that leads me to believe that either there was sludge building up and blocking off that pressure sensor or something to do with that AFM. Honestly, the truck's rated right that mark 230, 240,000 kilometers where Chevys just tend to self-destruct with that uh, cylinder shutoff. So maybe that's what I need to do, cam and lifter change. There's, there's absolutely no copper in the filter, so that makes me feel good because if it was a bearing issue, that's it would show up 100% right there. Like, there's no denying that. So that makes me feel really good about the engine. Um, I've got a lifter problem. Or, yeah, like I said, sludge blocking that sensor. So that makes me feel really good. I'll uh, have to think about that, but I'll likely put those ignition parts into the engine, um, delete that DOD, and uh, should be good for another couple hundred thousand. So, still, it's work, but uh, I'm not looking for a new engine. Silver lining. So, I can get back to working on the Biscayne. Thanks for tuning in.